Hey guys, you're looking at Roman America and a remodeled RV? Then you've come to the right place. Hey Romers, I'm Jamie. I'm Linda. And this is Roaming with Rosie. And it's been a year and a half since we did that video and we brought Rosie home. And we want to show you the completed renovation. It's all done. Let's take a look at where we started. We Back then, the only thing I could think of was, we've got to change the color of everything. Where are we going to go? Yeah, but one of the biggest challenges was removing that old jackknife sofa. I literally had to cut it out. <laughs> Today's a big day. We take out the jackknife sofa. We got the new uh, recliners in, so we get to tear out that old ugly jackknife sofa and put in that beautiful... Rec Pro recliner. But, but we're not sure if we're going to be literally tearing out the jackknife sofa. Oh, we're going to be tearing it out. Because we're not removing a windshield. Nope. Gosh, I hope we're not removing the windshield. No, I'll cut it apart if I have to. And it bolts right here, and then it's bolted to the, the slide out. So I'm just going to take those bolts apart and then see if I can get this thing, see if there's more ways to break this thing down so I can get it out the door. Right there. Oh, yeah, that thing just came out. All right. All right, there's part of it. Let's call it a day. All right, I gotta get some tools. So the ugly jackknife sofa's gone and in its place are these gorgeous Rec Pro recliners. Yeah, and the thing that was really neat about those Rec Pro recliners, the way they shipped them, uh, it's kind of like a puzzle. Um, basically they shipped it out in I think it was three three boxes but it was uh, actually six pieces so you were able to get it into the RV and assemble it once you had it all inside the RV you also removed the attached table that only sat two people and it didn't expand right and we just went and got this table set from Ikea and it expands on both sides. Yeah, it has two leaves and it actually has a drawer in it as well so you can store a little bit of stuff. And the color is actually almost the same color as all the trim that we did in the coach. Yeah, it's uh, kind of an espresso color so it matches the valances really well. I also removed that old grandma chair that you hated. Yeah, it was kind of like mama bear's chair. It was way too soft and it was really low to the ground. Right, and uh, it wasn't real hard to remove it because it wasn't attached at all. Yeah, we discovered it wasn't even attached to the floor. No, the only thing that held it in place was how heavy it was. Yep, we also got rid of the TV that was over the driver's side. It really doesn't even make sense that it was there in the first place because there's no seating in the coach that faces that direction. No, all the, all, basically all the seating faces to the e either side of the coach, so nothing faces forward. So what I ended up doing was building a custom TV cabinet. Um, I know there's a lot of them where they have a electric lift to raise it up. I built it manually so you can actually pull it up by hand so you don't, you're not required to use any electricity. Um, so I did that and it also doubles as a workstation because I added a desk to the front part of it that folds up and down so you can use it as a workstation. Those were some of the major changes. Well, what about the sink and the, count the countertop that you changed for the bathroom? Yeah, actually I forgot about that. That was one of the first things that I did when I started the rental was basically tearing up that countertop and building that epoxy countertop with the hammer nickel sink. And we had to do that because it was leaking. Right. Um, the faucet itself, the old faucet was leaking and I just kind of said, why am I going to repair something that I'm going to replace? So that, that kind of made that the starting point of the whole renovation. 
Don't you think it looks really gorgeous? I love it. It looks like something you'd find in a new custom home. Right, and that was the first time I'd ever done epoxy, so to me, I'm kind of glad it came out as well as it did. Um, it was a whole learning process, and I really enjoyed it. So. Linda made sure we refinished all the cabinets in the RV. Yeah, I don't like oak. I've <laughs> never liked oak. It was so 80s. She didn't even like it in the 80s. No, I didn't. But we used this product, <laughs> Cabinet Transformations from Rust-Oleum. We'd already used it in our kitchen, so we had a lot of it of the stuff left over from that. But it really makes it easy to refinish your own cabinets and just do a step-by-step -step process. Right. You don't have to sand or anything. There's a mm -hmm. thing called a deglosser, and you put that on there, and that basically takes the the gloss off of the surface and then it makes it so it'll accept and make make the paint adhere a lot better yeah it's bonding bonding yeah it's a, like a bonding agent almost <laughs> but wait that's not all there's a lot more yeah should we go inside I'm really happy with the way that the stairwell turned out. It was one of those areas where you had no idea what you were going to find until you started. No, that was one of those things where I had to put my thinking cap on and come up with an idea. Would you say the biggest task was getting rid of all the carpeting? Um, there was a few areas that were really tough. Yeah. yeah. I think um, the good thing about the Holiday Rambler and why we bought a 20-year-old Holiday Rambler was because they're built to last, meaning no one ever plans to take it apart. Right. They are built ver very well. The only issue is if you're somebody coming up on the back end and you want to remodel your coach, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, it depends on how much you like to listen to your husband swear and get frustrated. <laughs> have to be a little bit bendy to install these I think oh. <laughs> the flooring really tied the room together yeah it's really pretty now the plus side is it's super easy to clean and if you think about it putting carpeting in RVs is kind of gross because the outdoors is your living room so you're tracking that in and out all the time the other thing that I thought came out really well was the engine cover I like the way that ended up removing all that carpet and uh, Rebuilding on top of that and painting that out. I think it really uh, brought it all together And it's kind of a glamorous step up to the closet You know, you've got this giant closet and this beautiful step to step on. Yeah, it just looks a hundred percent better That carpet was just all greasy and everything because that's where you access the engine So so we also painted all the walls in the coach a nice light gray and changed out all the ugly brass colored knobs to a satin nickel which meant that the closet doors and also the shower enclosure had to be painted because that was gold as well. So I like it all matchy-matchy. Uh, yeah, and matchy-matchy meant that all the light fixtures <laughs> had to be changed too because that was all gold. So those are all satin nickel now as well. Some of them you were able to paint, but most of them you had to replace. Yeah, the ones by the recliners and the ones by the bed I replaced with new uh, light fixtures. But the, there's this one on the ceiling and uh, the one in the bathroom that I painted. We discussed a lot, well, argued, about the espresso trim <laughs> color, but I think you won that battle because it really makes everything pop instead of just being all bland. Yeah, I think it uh, kind of tied it all together. Uh, the other thing that I did that, Linda, we didn't even really talk about it. I did it while she was out of town, is the shiplap. I did that because she likes shiplap. I like shiplap as well, but I thought... <laughs> Just looking at the wall where the shiplap is just was bland and the shiplap just makes it really pop and stand out and look really nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at the finished renovation. Through the fields of our pots, feelings part our ways, keeping us close but strange now, dreams holding us closer. Meadows of our youth, a hundred and seven days, through calling it backwards, our dreams holding us closer.
really proud about how this turned out. Yeah, it came out really nice. Uh, it took so long because the, the summer months in Arizona are just way too hot to work inside of an RV. And we had a record-breaking year anyways for the most days over 110. Yeah, it was and really bad. And then we had COVID. Yeah, I had COVID for a month and Linda had it for like a week and a half. Yeah, so, yeah. so we had all that and then we got out of town. Yeah, but would we do it again? Absolutely, especially now because there was a lot of trial and error with products and things that would work in an RV, and I think we have that all worked out now. Yes, we're now ready to go into business of remodeling RVs full time. No, not. we're not. <laughs> <laughs> we have a list in the description below of all the tools and products we use and what we recommend. And for some of the links, we do get a small commission, but be sure that we only list products that we would use ourselves and that we would recommend. And if you have any questions, make sure and put them in the comments section down below. Finishing the RV and sharing all the steps involved have been a labor of love. And we compiled all the videos that we did on each step of the process and we put them into playlists that you can find on our channel. And you can support our channel in several ways. Make sure and subscribe and ring that bell so you can be notified each time we put out a new video. And share our videos and our channel with others who you know will be interested in the same kind of content. Another way to support this channel is to use our links from our video descriptions or on our website for any purchases you plan to make on Amazon. Even if you don't purchase the exact item that we recommend, we still earn a small commission from your shopping. Yeah. We really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for all the comments and questions. We'll see, see you, you next time. time. Hey Roamers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll be notified each time we put out a new video.